Wake up, Mr. Freeman. We arrived. I guess I wore you down with my retelling of the X-Files plot, huh? I'll lead you to the elevator. Dr. Kleiner is already waiting for you on the lower floor. Who is responsible for this mess? Why are you asking me? Are you a beer person or a wine person? Sorry. Because I I'm prefer leaving. beer. Okay, I get it. Silence is golden. You know, actually, I'm quite new here, too. Name's Barney Calhoun, or just Barney. Can I call you Barney? I'll take it as a yes. You've come at last. I was waiting for you, Gordon. Follow me to the registration room in the personnel department. I can't take much more of this. Hello, sir. I can assure you working in Black Mesa is even more exciting than studying at MIT. I brought him. Ah, Gordon Freeman. Give us the complete set of your documents, please, so we could register you as a new research associate. Okay, registration will take a couple of minutes. Please stay here. Sorry, Gordon. I have to leave now or I'm going to be late. Hi, Izzy. Ah, hello, Eli. You're just on time. Will you help Gordon to settle down in Black Mesa? No problem. Thank you, Eli. Gordon Freeman. Kleiner told me a lot about you. You'll work with me in Sector C, in the Anomalous Materials Lab. Gordon Freeman, your registration is complete. As it was said in the letter, you're assigned a clearance level 3 and live in quarters in dormitories. The number is 309. Don't forget that you're scheduled to participate in a HEV training. We wish you success in your endeavors. Let's go, Gordon. I'll show you the dormitories.
We're here, Gordon. Here, Sheriff, is a short supply of guts. Hope I'm not the cause of all this excitement. You know something, Rogan? I enjoyed killing that bastard. Hey, Colonel. you know what? Like Maybe we could catch a movie later. I don't know. I'm worried how this will turn out. You're not giving me the cold shoulder, are you? Well, what do you think? I really don't think you should be alone right now. Let me tell you something else. I've seen a lot of spinals, and this guy is a fake. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. Kindly lower your voice. Yes. Go on Hello. your way. Hello, Doctor. It's the western wing of the dormitories. I also live here. Your room is in a different wing, but I'll take you there. Good afternoon, Vance. Will you introduce me to this inductee? This is Gordon Freeman, our new research associate in Sector C. Ah, it's Kleiner's student. Well, young man, nice to meet you. But don't expect any kindness from me. I also hope your work here won't be a recipe for disaster. Don't mind Dr. Magnuson. He and Kleiner compete for grant money every year. Oh no, Vance. Calm your child down immediately. This is my daughter, Alex. She's got a flu recently, but she'll be all right. My wife, Azian, is with her. I'll introduce you to them later. For now, we should proceed. Hey! Hey! All right, which one of you guys locked me in here? No. I'm serious now. No way. This has become quite annoying. I don't think so. Hello? Hello? Come on, guys. Do you know who ate all the crabs? No. Scientists! I'm saved! Do you know what the word COSO is referring to, exactly? I am not at all sure. Why do you security guards always insist on bothering us? You know, nobody likes a bully. Shut up! Here we are, Gordon. Room number 309. Make yourself comfortable. This is your home now. Oh dear, why aren't these sensors working? I wonder if they're needed for today's training run. Very interesting. Ah, good morning, Gordon. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things are in a state of commotion this morning, but the training facility software should be in working condition. 
Please listen carefully, as there is a little paperwork to take care of before we get started. Oh, I see that you have already signed our legal disclaimer. I, Gordon Freeman, hereby agree to the following terms, blah, 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 in any case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, rashes, lesions, blah, blah, etc., etc., hereby agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Black Mesa facility. Okay, very good. And if there are no questions, then please step through this door to begin your training. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. Good work. You will look prepared for the next room. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Power assist movement activated. Nice job.
Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the Use key. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. <laughs> To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. target range. Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply.
As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Proximity to radiation activates the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous icon. Please advance to the next area. <laughs> Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Sure, I'll follow you. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Oh no. What happened, Doc? The door slammed and the keys are locked inside. How do I get into my office now? Gordon, Barney, can you help me? Gordon, I bet a beer that I'll get to the room before you. Well, Gordon, I'll assist you in this contest. You can get to my office through the ventilation system over there. Gordon Freeman detected in ventilation system. Gordon Freeman, do not be slow. Oh, 
at last. Thank you, Gordon. Do not forget to claim your prize from Barney. Hello, sir. Hello there. This analysis is going to run perfectly today, don't you think? Of course. Have you seen my coffee cup? Don't be ridiculous. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I am not at all sure. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Shut up! You'll just have to wait until after the test. Did you submit your status report to the administrator today? Greetings! Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Why? Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Gordon Freeman, you've come at last. Today we must study two crystal samples. Freeman, go down to the test chamber. I'll guide you from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to drill instructor sharp ASAP. Now move it, corporal. Where are you from, soldier? Texas? Holy cow. You know what comes from Texas, don't you? You eyeballing me, boy? You had better square yourself away, maggot. I smell smoke, and where there's smoke, there's fire. You better move it, soldier! One, two, three, four! You call that a push-up? All the way down!
This is a restricted area, soldier. Listen up! I don't care what your previous outfit was like, but around here we do things my way! Follow my instructions carefully, and by the end of the day I'll have you eating danger and crapping victory! Now move your butt, soldier! I will meet you on the other side, in the armory! <laughs> Mounted on the wall below me, you will see a PCV. This is a powered combat vest. Use it correctly and I guarantee it will save your life. Your PCV is able to recharge from battery power or it can interface and recharge with commercial, military, and HEV charging stations. What are you waiting for? Grab that PCV and get it fully charged. Trust me, maggot, you're gonna need it. I'll meet you in the next area to demonstrate some of your best capabilities. Move it! Move it! Alright, 
Let's see if you can move your butt through my obstacle course. On your mark, get set, go, go, go! Run up and over those platforms. Move, move, move! Duck, now jump! Get your sorry ass moving! Get your ass down that hill! Scale that wall! Hurry it up! My dear sweet grandmother moves faster than you, dirtbag! Get over that beam! I thought we were training soldiers here! Are you trying to embarrass me? Proceed to the next area! Come on, double time it! Move, move, move! Let's see if you can climb faster than you can run! Ready? Very good! Maybe there's hope for you yet! Now, you wanna come up here and try to knock me off? You can definitely climb better than you can run! Now let's see if you can use these ropes for more than just simple climbing! Jump! Catch that rope and use your momentum to swing across that water! This might take more coordination than you have, soldier! I want you to swing from rope to rope and meet me at the end of the course! What is your problem, soldier? Get back up and try it again! What is your problem, soldier? Get back up and try it again! I'm almost impressed, soldier. Meet me in the next section and let's see if I can shake you up a bit. You better move like you got a bird. Okay, soldier, this is a live fire exercise. This run will give you a taste of what it's like to be in the field. Keep your head low and move between cover. I want to see your face in the dirt, soldier. Go, go, go! Climb that rope ladder! Get your ass up there! Hit the dirt, soldier! Move, move! managed to make it through my favorite training exercise in one piece. Very good, soldier. Move on for your next phase of training. Your weapon is your best friend. It is your only friend. And to be more effective, soldier, you must master your weapon. On the table, you will see your standard issue sidearm. Pick it up and step over to the pistol range. The object of this exercise is to familiarize yourself with the functions and use of your weapon. The goal is for you to place six shots within the inner circle of each target. You may begin. Proceed to the next section of the training course. Thanks, 
Corporal. This exercise will train you in the use of a long-range sniper rifle. Proceed to the table, pick up the sniper rifle, and position yourself on the firing line. In this exercise, you will be firing at targets both moving and stationary at medium, long, and extreme ranges. As you will notice, your sniper rifle comes equipped with a scope. Use this scope to magnify your view, making the distant targets easier to see. In the distance, you will notice three stationary targets partially concealed. Hit each of these targets to advance to the next stage of targets. Good! Now let's see how you do with simple moving targets at that range, soldier. See if you can hit the moving targets at long range. Make sure to take your time and light up those shots, soldier. Make sure to take careful aim, soldier. Patience is key for those crucial shots. Not bad, not bad at all, soldier. Now let's see if you can do the same at extreme range. You can actually shoot. I'd actually consider letting you cover my ass in a firefight. I'm finished with you, soldier. Proceed to the next area and report to the next drill instructor. Thanks, Corporal. All right, dirtbag. You've proven yourself a capable grunt. Now let's see if there's any leadership qualities in that sorry carcass of yours. To become an effective leader, you must familiarize yourself with the skill set of each soldier in your platoon. The first type of soldier you will meet is the engineer. Engineers have a knack for getting you in and out of places that are otherwise inaccessible. Take charge and have him follow you to the sealed door. Yes, sir. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. As you can see, this soldier may prove quite useful in the field. Once you've breached the room, proceed through the door and meet the next type of soldier. The medic can be one of the most valued soldiers on the field. They have the ability to heal both you and your fellow squad members. To receive medical attention, simply hold down your use key and the medic will apply first aid. Once the medic has attended to your wounds, proceed to the next area to complete your training. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. Listen up, soldier. During the course of your mission, you may not be in direct contact with your squad. In these situations, you will need to utilize any available military radios. These radios can be used to call in reinforcements or gain vital military intelligence. Approach the radio and use it, soldier! I hear you loud and clear. We'll move to your position. Congratulations, soldier! You're no longer a low-life maggot! I'm proud to say you are a soldier. I'm sure you'll be a credit to your unit. Now report to duty, soldier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard course for security guard training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training.
Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all three of these obstacles in order to proceed. It helps to get a running start. Watch me do it, then try it yourself. duck under the next set of obstacles. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be heard. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Come on to the next area. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This should get you prepared for the next room, where you'll have to do both moves at the same time. Good work. You look prepared for the next station. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. It may be tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy to be able to jump and duck into tight areas. Nice work. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't worry if you miss the last one a few times, just climb up and do it again. If you can make all the jumps in a continuous run, you're doing just fine. Start the lift, walk up to the button and press the use key while facing it. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next section. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties.
To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. If nothing else works, you can try breaking things that block your path. Pick up the crowbar and smash your way through the boxes. You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, Try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start the sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> training target range. You may advance to the next area. Your heads up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. If you pass through fire or steam, you'll see damage icons come up in your heads-up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your helmet. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in your hands up display. Please proceed to the next section.
lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Press your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or backward to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press the use key a second time to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Attention, all military personnel, prosecute code 5. The military cleanup is just a paranoid rumor, isn't it? I really don't know. can't get any worse than this. Sorry about that, sir. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. I hope those containment parameters are still nominal. Don't bet on it. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the company. I can't access my office. I can't answer my office. And I haven't to the Black Mesa into my office. I know, sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time to... Time? time. I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy. And I'll be sure that our minds is not the only spot. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train 
is necessary to exit the train. Disabled passengers should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to board a high security train at the Central Transit Hub. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be admitted to the high security branch of the transit system. If you wish to transfer to the Sector B or C medium security lines, you may do so before you reach the Central Transit Hub at the area of the security checkpoint. Access to the medium security branch of the transit system is for employees of the Black Mesa Research Facility and authorized visitors only and requires that you wear your security badge at all times. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. Hey Calhoun, looks like we're in for a long day today. Have a good one, right now. This train is now transferring to the center You are from the Anomalous Materials system. Lab, yes. This I is a medium it. security area of the Black Mesa facility. My glass Be sure to wear your today, identification you know. badge at all times. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. security facilities. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time Good morning, is and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. A. This automated train oh, is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research with Facility personnel. With an estimated supply of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 60 degrees Celsius We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. Topside System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole this place has to be a high of one from level three dormitories. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 60 degrees at all times. Your destination is a high security Beyond your limbs, sector inside the train, and you will need to return to the central transit hub to end the door area until the train has endured a high security at the station platform. If you have not yet submitted in the event your identity to the retinal clearance, passengers system, are to remain seated to and await the personnel for processing. If it is necessary to an exit into the high security level personnel, they should be evacuated. I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time. Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy, and I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. Until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Immediate openings are in the event of an emergency. Passengers are to remain at low clearance and await the first instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled person, if you have an associate with a backrest in the area zone, please steer ready for physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines. Please contact our civilian recruitment division. Black Mesa Research.
research facility is an equal opportunity employer. Hazard course decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in a level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transition. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard course decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be to all Black Mesa personnel. employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation check is grounds for There you go. See after the experiment. If you feel you have this been exposed is a medium security area for other Black Mesa facility, in the course of your radiation contact your radiation scientists. Good morning. They're waiting for you. Work go. safe. Work smart. Get you back into the security that you know who ate Sector all the C test labs and control facilities. Greetings. It looks as though your data was lost in the system failure this morning. Not to worry. I can re-register you at this station. And Step wait into for the, the booth one at a time, and I'll start the procedure. This train is now transferred to the Sector C line of our transit system. This is a medium security area of the Black Mesa facility. You should wear your identification badge at all times. You don't have to register yourself before I can let you through here. Just Please check in around the corner. Stand back from the automated door until it has fully opened. Good morning, and Before welcome to the Black Mesa Transit sure System. To check your area. This for automated train belongs. is provided for the security you. and convenience and have a safe of the Black and Mesa Research day. Facility personnel. Move while I scan for the registration into the security database. Hey, you know what? 
Nice to see someone is on time today. Dr. Freeman is running late. Again. Honestly, I do not understand what kind of season that boy. Anyway, let's get started. When Dr. Freeman is ready upstairs, they'll want to begin the experiment, so you'll need to retrieve the sample, Dr. Cross. And I'll let Dr. Green into the test chamber. Dr. Keller! To make, ah, uh, hello, Dr. Rosenberg. We're sort of in the middle of something right now, so... I've been talking to Harold. He seems to be under the impression that you're planning on running the anti-mass spectrometer at greater than 90%. You realize there is a reason for the safety buffer. I understand your concern, Doctor, but the administrator was quite clear. The administrator is a bureaucrat, not a scientist. I did not design this equipment to be run at such high intensity. This is not your decision. Now, if you wish to stay and monitor the experiment, so be it. Otherwise, you can go back to your little lab, sort of by the train yard. Dr. Cross, the sample storage area is through the door here. And Dr. Green, we need you in the test chamber. We'll monitor the experiment from here. Didn't you just ask me that? What I did. Analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. 
This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now.
We can't expect anyone else to understand the importance of resetting those dampening fields. Without them in place, the dimensional gash could tear so wide it may never be repaired. It's too dangerous. If we fail, who will warn everyone else? We can have soldiers here in two hours who can secure the facility and bring everyone to safety. Our concern must be with the people of Black Mesa. Perhaps you're right. Dr. Cross and Dr. Green may have survived. If so, they can help us. I'll try to find them with this terminal. No! Don't touch that! Huh? Oh, thank goodness you've survived. Those HEV suits of yours are well designed, Dr. Cross. Doctors, we have formulated a plan. You must escort Rosenberg to the surface, help him call for help. I couldn't possibly make it in my chair. I'll stay behind and assess the damage to our equipment and the extent of the cascade. Maybe I can find a clue as to what went wrong and how we can right things. I don't like the idea of leaving you here, but it seems we have no choice. Let me activate the service lift. There's a shortcut through the training area that will get you to the surface. Good luck. All right, let's go. Despite what Dr. Keller believes, our only concern now should be for the people trapped inside Black Mesa. We need to get to the surface to reach the satellite communication equipment. Once they know what's going on, I'm confident they'll immediately send the military in to rescue us. There's an elevator nearby that will take us up to where we need to go. Follow me. Damn, it's 
seems the elevator controls aren't functioning. There is a maintenance area below us. I think perhaps you can get the elevator working from down there. You'll have to make your way through the hazard course to reach the maintenance area. I know I don't have to remind you that your hazard suit will protect you, but I think I'll be safer if I wait here. Listen, we tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him as all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. All right. Now we will combine kills. You will need to jump the dock and then jump again. to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the target, do it again. It will come around again. Try to hit the target at a critical time.
You have completed the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next area. Warning. Now, at the end of this tunnel is an access shaft that leads right to the surface. From there, we'll be able to reach the satellite communication center and call for help. Good work. I couldn't have gotten here without you. Let's go. chance. Behind this fence is a satellite communication center we can use to communicate with military personnel outside of Black Mesa. The military has the best chance of being able to secure the facility, and they'll be able to escort us to safety. Let's go.
Inside is the control room for the satellite dish, but this door is locked. If you can find a way into that warehouse, you should be able to make your way around to the other side of this door to let me in. I'll wait here. The way is too dangerous for me, but you'll be protected by the hazard suits.
A bunch of men. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come out and rescue us. Just up the stairs. Quick, come with me. From here, we'll be able to contact the military, but it appears the satellite dish is not aligned. One of you needs to go down and rotate the dish. The instruments in this room will tell us when the dish is positioned correctly. She's aligned. And rotated. Once our indicators tell us it's aligned, hit the switch to complete the uplink. Excellent. We should now have a working uplink. I'll test it.
Dr. Keller. Dr. Keller, do you read me? We've established the uplink and are transmitting the emergency signal. Good work, but there's no time to wait for the military. I need the team down here immediately. The dampening fields are going critical and must be reset. I understand. I'll send them down. Out. Listen, I can wait here for the military to arrive, but you're needed to help with the situation down below or others will be put in peril. You've done your job here. Now get below and reach Dr. Keller. Be careful, both of you. Hopefully I'll see you on the outside. the dampening fields, you'll have to reset the dampening locks manually. There are two secondary locks and one primary one. Dampening conduits are massive, so finding the locks should be hard. Now, you'll have to reset the secondary locks first. Only the primary conduit is strong enough to support a full flow, and I honestly can't guarantee the holes. Uh, I can use this console to transmit directly to your suit's audio system. Let's try it out. Test. Testing. Excellent. I'll be able to communicate with you anywhere in the facility. Be wary, my friends. Resetting the locks will probably put quite a strain in the pressure release valves, and they may cause increased displacement. <laughs>
I am a doctor. through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. Please leave me alone. I don't want them to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. That emergency ball kit won't open until the secondary dampening lock...
on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. Elevators are out of order, but we can still climb.
Why are we on disposal duty anyway? Just because Shepard's team didn't make it, we have to do the crap jobs? Well, let's get on with it. Unfortunately, the delivery rocket cannot launch without the all-clear codes. Now, any security guard in this dorm complex should have the codes we need. Go to the dorms and find the security guard. I'll take the tram around to the north side where we can pick you up. Good luck. Something must be broken. I hate elevators. I'll tell you how to figure it out here, but you might have a better idea. Access. Access. 
your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place.
much for the government. Their idea of being is to kill everyone associated with the project. And judging from your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. found a guard. Good job. I presume you've got the all-clear codes for the satellite delivery rocket? Sure do. You got a plan? Yes. Once the satellite is in orbit, we can orchestrate a resonance reversal that may seal the rift between Earth and the alien world.
control building. You need to find the control room. Set the airspace monitor to send the all clear codes so that Lambda Labs can launch the delivery rocket and deploy the satellite. I can unlock the security door in front of you from here. But I'm afraid the other power lock doors offer no remote access. You'll have to unlock them from inside. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involves something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. Perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. I'll be right behind you.
Break through this to get to the elevator. We should have chosen the Lambda reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures, with all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Yes, let's go. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Dr. Rosenberg, thank God you made it. We've managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now, there's no time to waste. Well, looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We've discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. Nina, are you receiving me? We've All right, we to initiate the teleporter charging the signal we now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Squats here should be somewhere in bio labs, but I've lost contact with them. I'm afraid you're on your own, buddy.
died down here. I hope the military has good medical insurance. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, soldier! All right, a soldier. Now we're gonna see some action. I'm afraid these troops aren't going to make it. I hope you have better luck out there, or I fear none of us will get through this alive. Personally, I think if we could find more soldiers like you, we may come out of this A-OK. -okay. What is that? What is that, Doc? Well... You want some of me? Well... I seem to be seriously wounded. You got nothing! I'll bet that stings a bit. Ah, uh, that's going to leave a scar. Can't get any worse than this. No.
piece of information regarding the satellite. The brass isn't going to be happy with rockets going off during their operation. I forwarded them the message. We'll need to work quickly as we're running out of time. I'm being jammed because the surface seal is the one that Gordon Freeman wears. Oldfield, check out that hazard suit. Looks like those suits have tracking devices on them. Assuming Gordon's does too, we should be able to track his movement through the facility. My equipment tells me that the displacement beacon is up and in working order. Good job. Come upstairs to Gamma Labs. We haven't much time.
I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Oster squad was supposed to help us push through this mess, but it looks like they've gotten into trouble. The enemy is coming in great numbers. All I want is to get my hands around Freeman's throat, but we're stuck here having to fight these aliens instead. Damage that way. 
Quarantine Labs. I fear that the scientists working there may have been overcome by the very creatures they were studying. We need you to get inside those labs and activate a beam matrix which powers the displacement beacon. You won't find much help in activating the system, but I'm sure with your training it will be a simple matter. Yet we haven't heard anything from them. We need to find a way around. Guard duty, huh? All right, you scout ahead. Okay, I'll, I'll secure this here and for the order. I'll briefly unlock the doors for you. I can remotely operate the elevator. But it's up to you to turn on the device.
With the beam matrix active, we can attempt a resonance reversal. We seem to have become quite an effective team, but everything comes down to this. The rift has become dangerously wide, and it may already be too late. We must act. Now! You've done well, but we're not done yet. You must use the displacement beacon's focus emitter to charge the large crystals on the canyon walls. Once charged, I'll use them to start the resonance reversal. Those crystals will be far more effective than the dampening tools. Follow me. Would you mind opening this door for me? This facility is normally used as a sort of cross-dimensional netting ground. It captured organic alien samples and creatures for study without the danger of actually going to Zen and retrieve them. When you start charging the crystals, the alien force will detect it, and they'll try to stop you. It's possible you could be dealing with more enemies than you've ever seen. You must charge the crystals as quickly as possible. Crystal in three.
Delta Rays. That's what we call them. We're not even sure if they're animals or machines, but they pose a real threat. Hopefully our anti-air forces will find a way to deal with them. Just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. We can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator. Follow me.
Down below are the old power generators that were used to service this lab. You should find what we're looking for down there. Once you've located a new power cell, make sure it's charged and send it up the freight lift. Good luck. Nina, Colette, you'll be all right. You were caught for a moment here in a harmonic reflux. It's one of the swirling eddies in the space between two displacement of insurance. Although I can't imagine who was creating the other current. But it doesn't matter now. Rest, my friends. We did it. Still, this won't hurt a bit. Are you seriously suggesting that all of these beings are here to dine well, on we us? Get to the surface, the military's made arrangements for us. I'm not so sure I want to go to the surface. We will find out what we were doing down here. I suspected this could happen, but the administrator just would not listen. Maybe help is on its way, but I'm not waiting around for it. We gotta get topside. I hope those continued directors are Don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface.
waters until a week ago. There's a tranquilizer gun in the shark cage. But I'm not sure it would work on this species. You're welcome to try. power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh. preparing the device with the fresh power cell you set up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. to the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. Gordon Freeman, it is you, isn't it? The science team has been tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so is the military. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. Still, it's better than going naked in this place. It's cold in there, and you'll have to hurry. It would sap your suit power in a matter of moments. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. It's worked for me so far. <laughs> Squad Whiskey 
Tango is about to set up a trap for Rosenberg and his crew. Your assistance is requested, Stefan. You can get to the old labs through the ventilation system. <laughs> There's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement. Function occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this half-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it.
no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we keep up. I'll stay here and guard this area.
personnel evacuate personnel to your secondary objective. Oh, you've woken up. Corporal Shepard, is it? I've read the tag on your uniform. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I can't say the same for him. I'm afraid you have been through a serious accident. Most of your friends didn't make it. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same situation. I think I saw a radio near the crash site where I found you. Perhaps you can go there and radio for help? Shepherd, sir, uh, you know, I was told not to open this door for you until you agreed to help us. Besides, you wouldn't want to go out there without your armor vest anyway. I, I left it for you where the other soldiers are getting treated. Just, uh, you know, come on back here when you found it. figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby, and we can get out of the lab. You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Peter switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. Wait a minute, and I'll let you in. A scientist! Thank 
crab creatures have a unique parasitic strategy. Let us figure out where we're hiding. <laughs> have you ever yeah, seen it. such a magnificent <laughs> species of chaos? Oh, you've woken up. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same... situation. Sadly, we don't have any weapons to provide you with firepower, yet we still have something to offer. This is the portable mechanic device developed within the walls of this lab. It allows Well, I'll let you out, but I'm warning you, it's hell out there! It's completely under military control! You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other, and I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda Complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming. Kindly blow Good luck, sir!
responsible for this mess. As I Soldier, I'm aware of the military plans of containment, but you can proceed without my help. Don't hurt me. My access code should unlock any door around this area. This guy. It's ready. You know, don't go that way. No. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. Take as much as you can carry. What the hell are you doing down here? Get topside! I'm not so sure I want those missiles. Those things! They're everywhere! This is madness! Oh my god, we're doomed!
somebody. Please help me. I'm, I'm dying out here. Please help me. <laughs> until I wound up here and, well, simply lost my nerve. Take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to wait out the catastrophe in here. If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, proceed with extreme caution.
to the evac center.
Machines? Why don't these ever seem to work? Hey, uh, you wouldn't have a quarter I can borrow, would ya? Of mine. Oh. What is that, Doc? I don't know. I've never seen that species before. It's okay, sir. I can take him. <laughs> no! I don't want to die! That closet over there. Those poor bastards.
Holy crap! What is this shit?
what's worse. You soldiers under orders to silence the facility or these vile aliens. I hid myself here. I don't think any of them above have survived.
that door until I was sure you had scoured the area. This is the last entrance to the Lambda Complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind to let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda Reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to.
get off. point near Lambda sector. With any luck, we'll even get a shot at Freeman on our way out. Now, this transit system should take us there, but the door is sealed up pretty tight. Where's an engineer when you need him? Scientist, thank God. I suspected this could happen, but the administrator just would not listen. This is madness. I'm getting out of here. You have no idea what is going on, do you? Any idea what to do next? Will we ever make it out of here? will make for a notable paper, don't you?
you out, but I'm warning you, it's hell out there. It's completely under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other, and I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way, but if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda Complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming. Been hit. Stay back. Sniper got me.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hunt.
hell is going on here? Nobody told us about black operations in the mission briefing. Yeah, I mean, we're all on the same team, right? Right? Well, I'm not sure what their mission is, but we need to keep moving. There's got to be a transit car somewhere on these tracks. creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home to. Yes. So, if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Do hurry. Don't forget to gear up, and I'll cover you while you're waiting for that portal to warm up.
This, Mr. Freeman, is a long jump module created expressly for navigation in the world beyond. I certainly hope you receive long jump training, because once you're in the Zen, you will need it. I would advise you to practice before crossing over.
for our military communication trainings? You were so clumsy at using the radio set, but eventually you got it right, under my strict guidance. I'm just saying, I can still find you. I can still contact you. That's a good thing.
Yes, Walter. We were finally able to successfully detach one of the barnacle creatures from its point of gestation. As before, we were still only able to coerce the creature into latching onto organic materials. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab this morning for an important experiment. So I don't have any time to further my analysis. Take specimen number 1176 and log anything else you can find.
Since we both want to get out of here, we should work together. The main gates are locked, but I can open them if I can get to the control panel. A failure of this magnitude is extremely improbable.
Good to see you. Oh, I can't believe you made it past those masked freaks. Those snipers have pinned us down here pretty good. We tried making a break for it, but they know we're here. They're just waiting for their shots, and those bastards are patient.
Correct. Moving out, Corporal. <laughs>
Instructor Barnes could see me now. <laughs> it's Shepard. Hey, stand back and I'll cut it. We're gonna need your help. <laughs> Shepard, you're a sight for sore eyes. It's good to see you, sir. It's a real mess out there. I mean, these... Things are coming out of the damn walls. Ain't no way around them either. They just keep coming. I heard about some kind of big standoff at the dam up ahead. I say we make our break for it now. It ain't gonna get any better, that's for sure. And I bet they could use our help. Sir, it's good to see another man in uniform. I bet you could get lost in this place really easy.
Man, if we make it out of here alive, I'm gonna buy you all around. <laughs> Hell, I'll buy the whole. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this mission. Check your zone. Area secure. <laughs> Uh, roger that.
Black Ops are up to, but it doesn't involve getting us out of here alive. We've got no choice but to fight our way out. Let's go!
Now don't hurt me, and I'll tell you a secret. I've been hiding up here listening. These black ops have some sort of bomb. I think they're planning on blowing up the base. Now, now why do you think they would do such a thing? Crazy. I'm not opening this door until someone turns that bomb off. Be careful with that thing. One false move and this whole facility is gone. I've got it covered. You just keep your eyes open. There's still some targets running around out there. I got cut off from Phil a 
short while ago. Something about low blood sugar. If he doesn't die to those aliens, maybe the soda will kill him first. I ramble and I'm sorry. You'll need me to get you access to a part of the facility. Namely a maintenance shortcut. Whew. That was a close one. You better get in here. It's not going to be easy from here on out. The only way out is through the level 4 storage unit, but it's a mess down there. The Black Ops were using it as a staging point until the aliens came in. If you do make it through, make sure you have them come back for us.
You're a good guy, bro. Listen, you've got to get down below. There's something coming through, and it's the nastiest looking thing yet. Some of your buddies went down there a while ago, and I haven't seen them since. I've got some weapons I've piled up in here. You better take as much as you can carry, because I think this is it. Good luck, Corporal. <laughs>
Stefan, it's me, Kevin. Here I am on the ground, lying motionless, breathless, lifeless. I know it's hard to comprehend, but it's the truth. You'll have to accept it. I guess I just wanted to accompany you a little bit longer. Or, well, you wanted to be accompanied by me. Anyways, take these keys. That truck is your only hope of getting out of here. As for me, I'm staying. I can't help you anymore. Try to get home safe. Goodbye, my friend.
Can't even trust the cola machines anymore. Look, I'm glad you're alive, but you gotta see something. Rai told me it's some sort of energy displacement. We can get it working. We just might be able to tap into the portal these aliens.
until every loose end has been tied up. The biggest embarrassment has been Black Mesa facility, but I think that's finally taken care of itself. Quite so. But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. While I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion. My employers are not quite so trusting, and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all, we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm, and where no harm can come to you. 
I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives.
Gordon Freeman in the flesh, or rather in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anticlimax after what you've just survived. Time to choose.
Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm and where no harm can come to you I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives Shepard, is it? I've read the tag on your uniform. Well, the dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. Well, there goes our grant money. Oh! <laughs> 
Someone there? No! Please!